Okay guys, we will be doing marble on this finger, so I will be picking up two beads of powder at the same time, two color powder at the same time. And now that is done, I am gonna place it directly on top of the nails. And when doing marbling, especially with bright colors, I want to work in small section at a time. So I am just gonna work in, just build my marble up slowly, okay? There you go. And make sure the bead of the powder is extra wet when it's like wet super wet the two colors will kind of just runs into each other and okay and we can go in with tiny bit more white if we like to add a little bit more vein to the marble again do not apply too much pressure because the more pressure you apply the more mushed together the marble will look All right, now we're just gonna work our way up to all the way to the cuticles of the nail. There you go. And then I'm just gonna lightly push it into the cuticles like so. And notice how I am applying very little pressure when I'm doing marbling, okay? All right, and make sure you keep it on the thinner side because now we're gonna go in and encapsulate the whole nail in crystal clear powder. Anytime you guys are doing marbling, make sure you guys encapsulate it in marble so when you file, you don't lose your marble effect. And now I'm just gonna press and pull it all the way down to the tip of the nail. There you go, and then we're just gonna cut it off at the tip. And then I'm gonna press it into the shape that I am working with. Now that is done, we're gonna go in with the Not Polish 5 in 1 cross bit. And what I like to do is pre shape the nails up just a bit before I smooth it out on the top. There you go, I'm just gonna pre shape a little bit. And now that is done, we're gonna go in and smooth out the top of the nail. Okay, now we're just gonna go in with the hand file and shape it up. And then make sure you buff everything out nice and smooth. Moving on to our next finger, I am gonna do a three colors ombre. All right, we're gonna place our bead up here and then make sure you flatten out the top area first and then you pull the rest of the product down to the tip of the nail. Press and pull, press and pull. You notice how I lay it very flat at the tip because for an ombre look, make sure that area is flat or else it's gonna show through. All right, now that is done, we're gonna cut it off. And before we put on our second color, make sure this purple is dry first. And now that is dry, I am gonna go in with the soft white and then I'm gonna pull it down. And make sure the soft white that you picked up is on a little bit on the wetter side because if it's too dry you go to pull it down your ombre is transitioning won't be as smooth it will look more like it will leave more of a line in your ombre now that's done we're gonna go in with a little bit of crystal clear right where the ombre transitioning is at right there and again i'm gonna go in with the five in one cross bit to pre-shape the nail a little bit we're gonna taper in the side of the nails just a bit before we start smoothing out the top of the nail like so and now that is done i am gonna go in with the not polish hand file and then i'm just gonna shape it up And 
for our next looks, I am going to place the powder close to the cuticles, but not too close. And then I lightly push it up. And now that's done, I am going to pull the rest of the products down to give it that little bit of a ombre look from the purple to the clear. There you go. Now you're just going to clean off the edges. And now that is done, we're going to go in and place the hearts on the wet product still. But when the product already dry, I am going to go in with the little bit of the crystal clear and place it on the nail like this. And then pick up my hearts and place it directly on top of the crystal clear so that the hearts will stick to the nails. Alright, and we're just going to do this. Make sure that it's fully covered. There you go, make sure you just fully cover it. And you can get these hearts on Amazon also. And the light purple is, the light purple that I'm using is number 106. The dark purple is M14, okay guys? All right, now we're gonna go in with the crystal clear and then just encapsulate the whole thing. Again, do not place the crystal clear too close to the cuticles because it will make everything just really thick at that, at that area and then you're gonna have to smooth it out later. So make sure you don't place it too close to the cuticles and then we're gonna cut it off right there. These, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it one more time. The soft white is number 101. The light purple is 106 and the dark purple is m14 okay guys and then the little hearts you can get it on amazon and now that is done we're gonna go in and place our gems make sure you smooth everything out and then we're gonna go in and place our gems on there and i'm just gonna go in with the not polish number two it's a dipping base and we're just gonna go in and place the gems on like so There you go. And you don't have to use an activator for it to dry. You just let it air dry before you put on the top coat on these nails, okay? There you go. And then make sure you just straighten out the nails first. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit more. And when you guys are using the dipping base to stick on your rhinestone, make sure you work on you work on, in small sections, okay? Because the base does dry up. So if you, if you don't work fast enough, it will dry on you. So just work in small section at a time. Same things for this one. I'm just going to place the dipping base on directly on the nail. And then I'm going to go in and just place my rhinestone on. There you go. And when this is done, we're going to wait for it to dry before we put on the top coat, okay? We're going to wait for the rhinestone to dry before we put on the top coat. So we're going to work on the next nail. And for the next look, I am going to use the ombre gel from Not Polish. And then I am going to place, I am going to brush it on the whole nail like so. There you go. You're just going to brush it on the whole nail first. And then make sure you get all the edges now that's done, I'm going to lightly brush off the side a little bit just to keep the shape of the nail. And then we're going to cure it for 30 seconds. Now that is cure, I am going to go in with the dark purple, which is number M14 from Not Polish. And then I'm just going to use my brush, my just any type of brush. If you have an old brush, you can use it also. It's, and then I'm going to dip it directly into the jar of number M14 and I'm going to lightly dust it on top of the nail like so. You see? So for this look, first you apply the ombre gel on, you cure it under the light for 30 seconds, you take it out, and then you just brush on this deep purple. There you go, see? This is the easiest way to do an ombre. 
same goes for this one now that the base is on and dry i am going to go in with the same powder and just dust it on there you see how the powder just sticks to the nail and then make sure you apply a little bit less pressure as you move your way up to the top of the nails to give it that more of that tra um, ombre transitioning okay now we're just gonna go in with the top coat and today i'm using the not polished matte top coat and again do not place do not get the top coat on top of the rhinestones because this is a matte top coat so it will dull out the rhinestone okay guys and if you do get it on there by accident just make sure you dry it first and then go in with a gloss top coat and just kind of dab it on top of the rhinestone again to keep it the little shine and anytime you guys are using this technique of doing ombre, make sure you use a gel base first, cure it for 30 seconds, and then apply on your top coat just to ensure the ombre to last longer. Okay, guys? This is the finished product right here. Super simple and super cute.